This segment of work focuses solely on the production cost statement. And the question that you see on the left-hand side of the screen is from perfect fit manufacturers and required from our end would be prepare the production cost statement for 14 marks. All right, so here goes. Right, we need three aspects, the direct labor cost, one, the direct material cost, two, and three, the factory overhead cost. And if there's any work in process at beginning, work in process at end, and then we get our total cost of production. But for now, let's go one step at a time. Direct material cost and direct labor cost. I note that the prime cost is given to us. Whilst it may appear as if they are taking something out of the answer, what usually happens is they hide one or two of these figures away, thereby making the other the balancing figure. So a quick check to see where we are at the moment. Direct materials, we do have 1575. So direct material, 1575, And let's look for any other direct materials that we might have going with it. Errors and omissions. And here we have something that's relevant. Payment to quick deliveries of 75,000 rands for carriage on raw materials that should have said purchased, was incorrectly allocated to selling and distribution cost. So we got to take that out of selling and distribution cost, which does not affect our work at this stage, but we're going to add that 75,000 to our direct material cost. And when we do that, 1575 plus 75 should give us 1,650,000 rands. We also note as we look through this, we unlikely to find the direct labor cost. Here it is, direct labor cost with a question mark next to it. But in the question paper, they told us prime cost amounted to that figure of 2,550,000. Now, if we've got that, we therefore are in a position to get the direct labor cost, putting a little bit of an oval there to show us it is a balancing figure. And it should give us 900,000 rands which you can double check to make sure we've got that correct. So we've progressed to prime cost, now to factory overhead cost. So what's the factory overhead cost looking like at present? Uh, going back to the question paper, direct materials done, selling and distribution we don't need, admin cost we won't need, direct labor cost has been computed already, and we've got the factory overhead cost of 518,800. So let's go with that, right? So given is 518,800. We're starting with that. We have finished with C.1. C.2, the entire insurance amount of 25,200 was transferred to the admin cost account. Two thirds of the expense should be allocated to the factory. So not a very difficult one there. We are now gonna take that 25,200, 25,200, and two thirds of that would be going in. So we'll take, we'll go and multiply that two divided by three, 25,200 times two third, let's give you an amount of 16,800. That one's done. So bullet point two taken. Then the factory overhead cost account included an amount of 117,600 for what in electricity. The bookkeeper had incorrectly allocated this expense to factory admin and selling in the ratio of six, three, and one. The correct ratio is five, four, and one. Unusual question, challenging our mathematics there a little bit, but let's let's take our time and work our way through this. Right, factory overheads is one, one, seven, six hundred. So another set of workings on the side here, one, one, seven, six hundred. And that is six tenths of the amount. We need five tenths of that amount. So six tenths as in 60%, we'll multiply that by 10 and divide it by six. Because originally what they did was multiply it by six over 10. So when we do that, we arrive at an answer of 196,000 rands. Now that 196,000 is what was that original amount that was incorrectly sent off to the factory overheads. Now, what we need to do with that is take five tenths of it here, five, four, and one, 
5 plus 4 plus 1 giving you 10. That's 10 tenths of it in total, basically the entire amount. Now we need to take 5 tenths of it. So we take the 196,000 and we divide it by 2 and we get 98,000. So what now needs to happen here would be for us to take the um, amount of 117,600, 117,600 out of this figure and add the 98,000 to it. Okay, now if you got a little bit confused there, let me just explain that bit one more time. The amount for insurance was incorrectly transferred to the factory overhead cost. Instead of five tenths of that figure that was sent in, six tenths was sent in. So here's a shortcut. We take the entire amount out completely, the 117,600. So there's no insurance sitting, sorry, there's no watt in electricity sitting in the overhead cost any longer. We then crunch that number. We arrived at this 98,000 rands. We now bring that in. And so when we add all of these amounts, we arrive at a proper factory overhead cost figure of 516,000. Now we take that 516,000 into the statement. Of course, all these workings could have been entered in those spaces. I thought its spaces were a little bit small, so I saved it and went straight for the space at the bottom and used it accordingly. So the total manufacturing cost, we're adding 2550 plus 516 to give us 3 million and 66,000. The work in process at beginning of year, 230,000 goes in. And we add all of that up and we arrive at 3,296,000 rands. And work in process at end of year. Work in process at end of year. And we are confronted with another problem there with a question mark attached to it. There's no further indication of where we can get that work in process from. So we effectively stuck there. However, is the total cost of production somewhere available? Let's look. And we find... Right at the bottom, item E, bullet point one, 7,600 shirts were produced at a unit cost of 420 each. So there we have it, 7,600 times 420. And when we multiply that out, we are getting 3,192,000 rands. The work in process at end of year now, looks like we can arrive at that figure. So I'm putting a big egg around it there to show you it's a balancing figure. We're subtracting 3,296,000 3, from 3,192,000. And using our calculator, we arrive at a figure of 104,000 rands. And that is this manufacturing statement all completed. Not a difficult question, but a sort of question that's worth doing for me, especially this aspect here on breaking down the ratio. Because this sort of question you rarely see in your textbook. However, it's a good question that tests our mathematical ability. Thank you.